What's going on guys? It's P. Gamboa and in today's episode we're going to be installing this 2016 Denali cluster onto my 2016 Chevy Silverado LT. I picked this cluster up off of eBay and sent it off to White Automotive and Media Services. Check them out at whiteautoandmedia.com. I put the website in the description so you can check them out. Um, word of caution here, before you go and actually purchase a console or a cluster, make sure you get with whiteautoandmedia.com to ensure compatibility. They'll be able to provide you with a part number so that you can ensure you're getting the correct uh, cluster for your truck. Uh, from what I understand, you do have to get the same year as your truck and then send it off to get programming. If you install this cluster prior to programming, you do risk the chance of bricking your cluster as there are security protocols built in to the truck's computer, which will essentially transfer the odometer mileage from your old cluster onto the new cluster. So check them out, whiteautoandmedia.com. I'm really excited about this. I've been wanting to do this for a while now, and I finally have the chance to go ahead and get it done. So let's get this guy installed. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and get this cluster removed. And before we get started with anything up top, we're going to come down here below, and we're going to remove this panel here. You have two bolts down at the bottom. They're Torx T15. We're going to undo those, and this whole panel just pops off towards you with some retention clips. And the reason for that is because the cluster itself it's gonna be um, this plastic molding piece that's gonna be behind this cover here. So we're gonna take this piece off and then the top part of the dash pops off. Uh, this is just held on with retention clips. Um, I think there's four clips in total. So we'll get that popped off and then we'll take the next steps. And here I've got the bottom cover removed and as you can see, you got two clips on the left and two clips on the right. So we're just gonna take that down and then we'll go ahead and move on to the upper piece. We'll just get that guy popped off. All right, so to remove this top piece, it just pops off. It's held on by six retention clips on the back. You've got four in the front, two in the back. And once that's popped off, you will see three seven millimeter bolts. You have one right here, one in the back, and one on the right. And as you can see, this trim is hidden behind this cover. So that's the reason why we need to take that cover off. So we'll get those three bolts removed, we'll get this trim piece off, and then we can get the cluster out. So I did feel a little bit of resistance on this side, on the left side and the right side, and there is a retention clip back here. There's also an alignment hole and pin up top. So just make sure you're, you're gentle when you're pulling that out. It'll help if you move the, the lever down so it'll loosen it up. Perfect time to you get your bezel tool out and just get that underneath and pry it out towards you. And essentially this whole piece will then come out, finagle it uh, out, and then we can get the cluster out. And this is what the back side looks like. So you've got uh, two clips actually on each side, one on the, uh, two on the left and two on the right. So again, get your pry tool and get that popped out towards the bottom and that should come right out. And now what's left and exposed will be four seven millimeter bolts. You got two on the top up here and then you got two down below, uh, right in there. And you have one on that side there. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn the truck off now. It's a little warm today, so I got the AC blowing. I'm gonna turn the truck off. We'll get those four bolts out and this cluster should just pop right out and disconnect the uh, harness and we'll get the new one installed. So on the actual harness into the cluster, there's gonna be a red tab. This red tab is down in the locked down position. So you wanna slide that red tab up and then this black lever will release. You may have to squeeze the sides a little bit to get that to release, but that will essentially uh, rotate in the opposite direction and allow you to pull that out. So there's a side profile for you of that clip. So you need to release that tab, slide that tab upward, and then that lever will uh, come out and allowing you to unplug it. So here I've got both clusters pulled out for a side-by-side -side comparison. And as you can see, the cluster on the left, you've got the gauges, the four gauges up at the top with the smaller, I believe it's a four inch screen. And on the Denali cluster, everything in between the gauges is an LCD screen. So we'll get the new one put in and then we'll get it turned on. Before I go to put the cluster in, I just wanted to show you the part number for this guy. And again, before you go out and you pick it yourself up cluster, make sure to double check with whiteautoandmedia.com on compatibility. Uh, part number for this cluster is 23400434. And again, this came out of a 2016 Denali and my truck is a 2016 Silverado. So let's get this guy installed and we'll get it uh, fired up. All right, so I've got the cluster installed and essentially we're gonna reinstall the components in reverse and we'll get this guy started. 
Well, there you have it, guys. A 2016 Denali Cluster into my 2016 Chevy Silverado. Let's get this guy started. Got a nice LCD in between the gauges. Your four smaller gauges up top are now digital. My controls are controlled by the steering wheel controls like normal. We can go through here and navigate through the different menu pages. My mileage carried over, 15,446. And everything else just like it was on my original cluster. So again, uh, another shout out to whiteautoandmedia.com. Check them out for any cluster and or B custom BCM programming needs. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe and check out my other videos on the various mods that I've done to my 2016 Silverado. Until next time, guys, this is P. Gamboa. We'll see you later.